welcome and welcome back fellow mystics to my channel diaries of a lunar soul okay so i haven't done one of these readings for a very long time so this is a love reading and we're going to catch up with the divine feminine energy of the collective okay and we all have divine feminine and masculine energies within us and it doesn't matter whether you're a the, the gender does not matter, okay? The energies I'm, I'm referring to here are the feminine energies within all of us, whether you're male or female. So if you're male and you're watching this and you, and you feel like you're more of a masculine energy, <laughs> then yeah, the messages that come through here are from your feminine, okay? And if you're also feminine, but you feel like you have more of masculine energies, then this reading is still for you, okay? So overall, this reading is we're catching up with the divine feminine energies. And because we all have that divine feminine energy within us, you can also choose to look at this reading from the perspective of your inner feminine energy. OK, so you have two ways of looking at this reading. First, the feminine energy in form of another person and then the feminine energy in form of the one that's inside of you. OK, so yeah. And I've already done the masculine energy reading. So let, I'm curious to see whether the feminine is going to respond. The masculine gave a very tough message, not tough, tough love in his message. So I'm curious to see what the feminine energy has to say. And maybe the messages are interlinked or maybe not. Maybe the feminine just wants to talk about something completely different. Yeah. Okay. So before we go to the main reading, there's an... Uh, there's a short mini section called the personality check which comes immediately after this introduction and in that personality check I tap into the personality traits of the feminine energy that I'm tapping into right now and that's so that I can get a feel of your vibe sort of for example if I talk about personality traits that you like in your feminine then it means the main reading is for you okay so if I talk about something that you don't like in someone, like if you, if you don't find the personality traits I'm talking about, if you don't find them attractive, then it means this is not the feminine energy for you, okay? But if you feel like, yep, that's the person I like, that's my person, yeah? I know that person that she's talking about, then the message is for you. And another thing, I haven't done this for so long, so <laughs> um, my words are... All over the place anyway so another thing is this reading is for everyone so if it's it's for whether you're in a relationship if you're in separation or if you're single okay the messages coming through here are for everyone all types of people just know that we're just tapping into the divine feminine energy the yin energy okay right okay so then let's head on over to the personality check and see what comes through there the timestamps are in the description box below so if you're curious and you want to just skip over to the main reading then it's up to you feel free but i would suggest that you first check in with the personality check just so that you don't find that you've wasted your time watching the main reading and then you realize oh crap this message was not meant for me okay so yeah let's head on over to the personality check okay so let's tap into the feminine energy of the collective and ask her to tell us what she wants to say about herself and we'll start with what is her light attribute things that she usually lets people see about her her personality parts of herself that she's okay with people seeing or what people see at the first glance when they see her and then we're also going to check in with the shadow aspect which is parts of herself that she doesn't really like showing people okay yeah so we'll see now this card wanted to come up with a light attribute alchemist okay some of you your divine feminine is a witch <laughs> a good witch <laughs> that word has been ostracized so much yeah witches are good witches are, tran are magicians and transform transformative people 
anyway okay so let's get her shadow attributes this deck is so huge it's so difficult to shuffle it divine feminine talk to us what message what personality trait do you want the masculines who are watching this by the way i'm assuming that the people watching this video are also are masculine but also wait it can be both let me scratch that it can be anyone anyone is watching this reading okay because you could be looking at this from the perspective of your inner feminine energy okay these are too many cards feminine god damsel and gambler they're too many i just want one card please okay shadow aspect so three cards coming up it means <laughs> you're feminine oh my god chill feminine you're so excited it would mean that she's very she's an introvert because more cards want to come up for the shadow self so she could be an introvert yeah she's introverted okay oh my god again two more cards you know what we're going to take it angel and the artist those are her shadow attributes and then let's get clarifiers and then at the bottom we have the samaritan okay so let's get clarifiers for that the feminine energy is so excited she's excited for you guys to know more about her <laughs> okay give me a clarifier for the light attribute feminine tell me more about that light attribute this one wants to come up love okay like i said good witch <laughs> everything she does is based on love love for all love for herself okay and let's see a clarifier for let's take this for a shadow attribute growth i want to expand my consciousness and, uh, and my awareness okay that's interesting i'm only saying interesting because of how what it's paired with okay right and at the bottom we have honesty you know what this card came up in the masculine's energy and also this love they've swapped sort of this love was here and then honesty was on the main card deck anyway okay there's a lot of mirroring energies so some of you could be twin flames <laughs> yeah okay so let's see energies let me just tap into what i'm reading and then i'll explain my thoughts Okay, so with this alchemist, transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom. The divine feminine I'm tapping into is all about transformation. And it could be transform and it's transformation within herself and within the world around her she always wants to make something better <laughs> she she's a fixer she likes fixing things fixing people fixing herself yeah but she does all this out of love okay she doesn't do it because she's she's she doesn't um appreciate things what is the word it's not because she's not satisfied with what she has yes it's because She's always challenging herself and people to become a better version of themselves. So she's all about transformation. If you come across her, she will always try and look at something about you and see what can, Im can be improved. And I'm picking up Virgo Moon and... Why did I say Virgo Moon? Okay, yeah. I'm picking up Virgo Moon energies, but it could also be that divine feminine I'm picking up is a Virgo because virgos virgo may be sun sign moon sign or or rising sign okay 
but for some reason I said Virgo moon so yeah so maybe Virgo moon yeah anyway okay take what resonates okay this is a general reading you don't have to be caught up with the zodiac signs anyway so the reason she's all about transformation is not because she's not satisfied with what she has she's always trying to make people better than who they are at the moment She's, all, she's such an optimistic person that she believes that everyone can become a better person, okay? And she loves doing it. That's something that she will do without even being asked, okay? And for some people, some people might take it as she's being too nitpicky perfectionist you know like she's very meticulous so some people might pick up that energy as being nitpicky but she's not nitpicky at all whatever she does she does out of love so some she sometimes she's a little bit misunderstood by people okay that's why this honesty card is here i can't always expect the truth from others but i can expect it for myself okay so some people don't understand misinterpret her motives as why are you judging me why are you telling me that i need to change why can't you just accept me for who i am but where she comes from when she's trying to make people better it's always coming from a place. <laughs> it's always coming from a place of love i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things okay so she feels a little bit uneasy when she looks at you let's say for example you're talking to her and she sees a button on your shirt is is about to come out come off she'll be like i need to fix this and she will focus on that until she fixes it that's her thing but she's doing it so that when you walk out people see you as someone who's you know fresh she doesn't want you going outside there and people think look at this raggedy person you know no she does it out of love so she might be a bit meticulous and want to change every aspect of you for example if you're masculine if you feel like your feminine is always trying to tell you how to do things it's because she's just she's doing it out of love she wants the best for you okay so she's all about transformation and that's why sometimes she's misunderstood because people think she's a bit too much of a perfectionist wanting things a certain way and yes she does want things a certain way but it's because she wants the best for the people around her okay she's always trying to make people and herself a better version of who they are okay that's her personality trait and then for her shadow aspect she got the angel artist and growth let's see so for the angel Let's start with the angel. Acting innocent or angelic to mislead others, falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance. And then the artist, using talent as an excuse to mistreat others, posing as a starving artist to elicit pity. Okay, <laughs> that's an interesting. Her shadow attribute that she doesn't like people seeing. Ah, okay. Let me get let me get a tarot for that, but I think I got I got what she's trying to tell you guys. Okay. Ace of Wands and Ten of Cups. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> but anyway, feminine give me clear answers but anyway i will find a way to make this work ace of swords and and the ten of cups okay so i get what it what what they mean by this samaritan i just under, i just immediately understood so what happens is you see the way she's always very active in helping people become better versions of themselves sometimes she wishes that someone could take care of her 
the way she takes care of people okay that's why this ten of cups is here sometimes she just wishes someone could take control sometimes she's tired of being in control all the time that's the thing with this she's sometimes tired of being in control all the time because sometimes she just wants to focus someone to help her grow growth because she knows that for her to grow as much as she knows a lot about herself she's very self-aware she also knows that for her to grow and move on to the next phase of her life where she's learning something new she needs to interact with someone who challenges her to move on to the next level but something that she doesn't like people seeing is that she has a hard time finding that crowd she's very clever very very clever very self-sufficient as well yeah so because of that she's like a level above almost everyone that she's around so it's very hard for her to find someone who can help her grow yeah who can help the artist in her help her expand her skills she finds it really hard to find a mentor exactly she she that's something that she really struggles with and she doesn't like letting people know that because to some extent she also likes being in control and letting people see that she's she's the queen of her own world of her own growth but deep down sometimes she just wants that teacher that mentor to t mentor around her to tell her this is how you do things okay this is how you you progress to the next phase this is how you expand your skills sometimes she wants the help she gives people the wisdom and help she gives people she sometimes wants that from other people but she has a really hard time finding that that person who is on her level and knows what she needs and knows how to do it the way she wants to do it okay that's something that she doesn't let out so often and yeah so she she usually looks and looks and looks for a mentor someone to look up to she's always in search for someone to look up to but it's a bit hard because she's really really clever so she finds it really hard to find someone who's on their level okay so yeah i don't think i have anything else to say feminine do you have anything else to tell me nope yeah so that's it so if these messages here seem familiar or sound like it's someone you know like you're yeah i know that girl I know her or I know that guy or I know that feminine energy that you're talking about then head on over to the main reading and we see what messages now she has for the masculine energy okay other than that if this part did not make sense then just go back to some of my playlists and see I'm sure you'll get something there that makes sense okay but also you can come back to this reading at a later date and you'll find that something starts to click or maybe you'll have found that feminine energy that i was describing because sometimes this can be a future energy reading okay so let's head on over to the main reading and see what comes through there okay so if you've gotten to this part it means the personality check reading resonated with you and you sort of felt like i was talking about a feminine energy that you are familiar with or you're attracted to so yeah so let's see what messages come through what messages what does she want to tell the masculine energy what does she have to say and we'll start with what's in her mind space this is what is she thinking about and then what is in her heart space this is what is she feeling about this connection or about the masculine and then we'll look at what unconscious energies she's emitting to the masculine energy what energies is she portraying to the masculine that she's not even aware of okay and then we'll get a final direct message from her to her masculine right okay hey <laughs> right so i didn't even ask anything and these three just jumped out so two of two of cups but i didn't ask for anything do i want to pick these cards yeah let me pick them so this is what she's feeling about the masculine it, what she's thinking about two of cups six of swords and six of pentacles that's what she's thinking about okay then now let's see 
what is she what is in her heart space how is she feeling about the masculine energy five of pentacles oh it's such a sad card okay and um okay this one wants to come up and the seven of wands which is interesting because this energy came up in the masculine's reading okay now it's gone <laughs> it's flipped to upside down reversed so we'll take that like that so seven of wands reversed all right then now let's look at oh and the, at the back of the bot the the bottom of the deck is the magician here's the alchemist see here's the alchemist energy that we talked about in the personality check that she's all about transformation and helping people become a better version of themselves but sometimes she's misunderstood yeah people think that she's just being neat picky and being discontent with people but no she just wants you to become the best version of yourself so there's the alchemist energy coming up the magician okay then let's see what energy is she unconsciously emitting to the masculine what energy is she relaying to the masculine energy unconsciously she's not aware of this but that's the energy that is being emitted in the cosmos to the masculine okay okay so this do want to come up storm warning <laughs> She's a little bit hostile, an angel of balance. Okay, these are interesting cards to come together. Okay, so there's some, she's a little bit hostile towards the masculine. And that's, or rather that's the energy that she's emitting into, to the masculine. Ah. Okay. So then now let's see because i want to shuffle all the cards first then we can now just dive into the reading without me needing to shuffle again it takes a lot of time shuffling so what direct message does the i have a headache gosh i think i've done too many readings today so this is my last one for today or maybe actually interesting i have a headache because of this storm warning and then angel of balance so the feminine is a bit too much into she's overthinking about something and probably that's why i'm feeling the headache the headache headache yeah okay so what message do you have surrender your need to always be right give others the gift of letting them be right be yielding not rigid this will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationship. Exactly what I picked up with this storm warning. <laughs> There's some conflict between you. But it's not a big conflict. So it's, it's a tiny problem. With this five of pentacles here, it's not something so huge. And at the bottom of the deck, surrender your addictions. Guess what? This card came up as the message from the masculine energy in that reading i'll i'll put a link somewhere here to that masculine reading he this card came up and he was telling the feminine to surrender her addictions so again the mirroring energy is coming up here again meaning some of you are twin flames you're mirroring each other's energies okay so did i look at the bottom of the card of this healer of the ages oh my goodness this healer came up in the personality check for the masculine energy so i have a very huge i have an intense feeling that the feminine is responding to the masculine in this reading oh cool we have a we have a conversation yeah this is a conversation occurring between these two readings that i've just done the feminine is now responding to the masculine so killer of the ages this was a trait in the masculine's energy so it's interesting that it's come up here 
where can I put it so that it can be seen? Okay, let's put it there. But then it can't be seen. Let's let's move these ones. Oh man. There's no space. Okay, you know what? Where can I put this? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. Okay, let's just try and squeeze it in somewhere there. It's these three cards that came up that just spoiled the layout. Okay, are you seeing, I'm already picking up the feminine's meticulous energy, like she likes things a certain way. And so I'm probably feeling like I need to arrange things in a specific manner. I'm already picking up the energy of the feminine, the meticulousness, perfectionist in some way wanting things a certain way fixer okay anyway right so let me tap into the energies and then i'll explain what i'm getting so for her mind her mind space she has the two of cups and the six of swords and the six of pentacles okay so with this two of cups and the, let's start with that and the six of swords are you seeing the feminine has the masculine in mind she really does want this connection with the masculine and she wants the masculine to move come forward now like she doesn't understand why the masculine is taking so long to come forward okay she just doesn't see she sees that we are ready we are ready to make this union happen and we are ready to work together we are ready to start our mission work because the six of pentacles is a kind of mission work in this deck like they are working together to come up to to heal the environment around them breathing air into the environment around them okay so that's like mission work so the feminine is saying masculine stop waiting for things to be perfect things will never be perfect because in that reading the masculine energy reading the masculine was like i can't come forward because i'm not yet ready i want things to be perfect i don't want to give you a half-assed proposal you know but the feminine is saying things will never be perfect okay sometimes you have to just settle for the seal and not wait for a horse okay <laughs> and of course there's no way this seal is going to be a this ride is going to be very bumpy because the seal will just slide yeah <laughs> it will slide on ice it won't go as swift swiftly as a horse you know so this ride is going to be a very bumpy one and that's what the feminine is thinking about in her head we are ready we are ready to do this thing stop waiting for things to be perfect so in her mind she's thinking about the masculine but she's a little bit frustrated because the masculine is is taking too long to come forward yeah and the feminine is ready to work with the masculine she's ready to that's what she's thinking she's ready she's ready to work with the masculine that's all she's thinking about she's ready that's what's on her mind okay that's what's on her mind but she's also a little bit frustrated that the masculine is taking forever to come forward because he's worried that things are not perfect in fact the feminine is also thinking why is the masculine thinking that i won't accept him the feminine is saying is actually saying you're in my thoughts you don't need to have the perfect words to come forward to me okay you are good the way you are so come forward i'm ready to work with you sweetheart come forward things don't need to be perfect we'll make things perfect along the way okay but we need to start this thing now that's what's on her mind that she's ready to start her mission work with the masculine and that's why i said i, I was picking up twin flame energies yeah because twin flames come together for a higher mission contrary to what people think that twin flames only reunite for love the number one reason 
twin flames will reincarnate in the same lifetime is to it's because they have a higher purpose love is not the the main thing love is a secondary thing it can be the second thing but the first thing is they have a mission to elevate the consciousness of the world and the reason they incarnate both of them together in the same lifetime is because that mission is so huge that one of them cannot accomplish it alone okay so they need the other one to come through to them so that they can accomplish that mission together okay so your divine feminine is saying twin my twin flame come in we are ready to start our mission work you you're there thinking you need things to be perfect but we're wasting time that's what she's thinking about we are ready to start this we're ready to become the healers okay healer of the ages you're ready we are ready to start this together okay and underneath there's the the first chakra archangel michael in reverse meaning yeah the feminine is saying you might be feeling you're not confident yeah you're not confident in with this new beginning but we just have to start now and then we'll figure things along the way sometimes things become perfect over time it's not an instant thing okay so that's what's on her mind she's ready to start her mission work with her masculine okay so that's on her mind and then in her heart space she has the five of pentacles and this seven of wands it's so elusive okay so she has the five of pentacles and the seven of wands in reverse in her heart space so again are you seeing what i've just said in her heart she's saying i'm ready see she's bringing this pentacles to the masculine this is the feminine saying hey masculine hey sweetheart hey darling we are ready to begin our work we are ready to show the world how we can heal each other we are ready to begin our mission work together as healers of the ages okay but the masculine is not seeing it because the masculine is feeling is a little bit guarded okay the masculine is not confident in himself he's still fighting some inner demons with this seven of wands are you saying like guys it's like a guy has come into an area where he's not supposed to be in and these guys are like hey you're in uncharted territory go back this is not your land yeah so in her heart space deep down which is interesting and this is probably why in the masculine reading the masculine said he feels like the feminine is very intuitive so the feminine has picked up that energy in her heart she knows the masculine is not coming forward because the masculine is doubting himself yeah he's doubting his abilities he's feeling like he's not ready but he is it's just that his those fears he has are illusions the feminine is right here if he just lifted his head he would see that he is right there yeah the feminine is right there waiting for him but him he feels like oh i'm not yet ready to go forward to my feminine because i need to have my swag on or i need to do this and this and this but the feminine in her heart she knows and usually on this journey to sacred union with your twin flame usually the feminine energy awakens before the masculine energy okay and then the masculine energy eventually catches up so because the feminine energy awakens before the masculine energy she usually has a lot more leverage <laughs> not leverage but she she knows the ins and outs of the of the journey so and that's why in her heart she already knows the ma masculine doesn't even need to tell her how he's feeling she already knows she intuitively knows because she's probably been there before in this journey where she felt like she's not ready to start her mission work because the feminine has to first start her mission work alone and then the masculine energy will will do his on his own and then they'll eventually come together and reunite and make a big thing okay and what the, whatever it is that they're doing usually individually complement each other even if they haven't ever met before 
what they do to they they the the aspects complement each other okay so when they now finally join together it's one huge yin and yang energy it's like an ocean of yin and yang you know that balance of male feminine and masculine energies so what was i saying yeah so the feminine in her heart she already knows yeah the masculine and she's trying to tell the masculine probably she's even okay so with this seven of wands the feminine has been trying to send messages to you in your dreams okay the seven of wands for some reason i'm seeing like this is the masculine subconscious mind this is the masculine subconscious mind and this is the feminine okay so the feminine is trying to penetrate through to the masculine to tell him hey sweetheart i'm here and we're ready to start our journey our mission work but the masculine is a bit defensive so the feminine cannot even penetrate through yeah but she's trying to send you messages in your dreams so if you're a masculine energy pay attention to your dreams your feminine is trying to connect to your heart from her heart to your heart through your dreams she's trying to recondition your subconscious mind to see that you are ready for this okay you are ready for this and that's why the unconscious energy she's portraying to you is that of angel of balance and storm warning she's she's let's see she's coming off as a bit aggressive actually yes she's coming off as a little bit aggressive in her words because she's trying to show you that you are balanced this card did not come in reverse it came like this so she's coming off aggressive to you because she's trying to tell you masculine you are ready for this stop doubting yourself in the masculine energy we read not we read i channeled that the masculine was trying to balance his masculine and feminine energies the inner yin and yang energies within himself and that's why he said he was not coming forward but you know what with this card the feminine is saying hey you you're ready you're already balanced and by the way this was one of the things i talked about in the in my video journey to sacred union in the fourth stage i talked about something to do with this where i talked about that at some point the masculine and feminine energies start doubting themselves and start thinking that they're not in alignment with themselves they're not in sacred union with themselves but they really are whatever it is that they're feeling is usually just illusions okay ego mind trying to trap them into staying wherever it is that they are okay so make sure you watch that video it's in my playlist somewhere so just go back and watch that video and you learn so much more about the feminine and the masculine energies and how sacred union with self and sacred union with another person happens so again the feminine is just being so aggressive yeah with you masculine because she's trying to <laughs> hit this message home you are ready you are balanced you've integrated your masculine and feminine energies there's nothing more you can do by yourself right now okay that's what she's saying the the stage you've reached right now you can't go at it alone you need help from your feminine energy to now be able to move forward okay you need help remember i said as twin flames the only reason you incarnate on earth in the same lifetime is because you have a bigger purpose that one of you cannot accomplish on their own so they need the other person to come in and help them and that's what the feminine is telling you right now you're in a phase of your life where that mission work that you want to put out to the world you can not do it alone you've you've done enough on your own now now you need the feminine energy to come in and help you so that you can now expand your connection your mission work to the world and that's why her direct message to you is surrender your need to always be right give others the gift of letting them be right be yielding not rigid this will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships so what she's saying here what's your feminine but then when i say she just know i'm saying feminine energy this reading is not gender specific okay 
so what she's saying here with this surrender your need to always be right your feminine is saying yeah you know what's right for you yeah masculine but just let go let go of control a little bit let me control just a little bit like in the masculine energy reading i actually said he likes being in control he has a really hard time giving control to other people but the direct message here from the feminine energy is allow me to help you see beyond what you've already learned there's so much more that i know there's so much knowledge i know about this journey of ours because i've been on it longer and i want to share that knowledge with you but i cannot share that knowledge with you unless you let me in let me in and the way you let me in is by surrendering your need to control everything you don't need to always have control sometimes let me take control because i also know this journey i also know what's good for you so it's a give and take it's a the six of pentacles here our mission work is a give and take i'm the yin you're the yang so you cannot do that mission because that mission is yin and yang it's not just yin or just yang so you need me as well okay <laughs> just loosen your grip a little bit okay that's what the feminine is saying allow help allow me to help you for some of you the masculine energies you have a hard time receiving help from people you have a really hard time and probably that's because you're so used to being the one helping others that you find it hard to ask for help but the feminine is saying i am ready to come forward to you and help you and show you a whole new world that you don't know about that i know about and i'm also ready for you to show me that world that you know that i don't know if we work together like that then we'll be able to become the healers and raise the vibration of the earth the way we intended it to be before we incarnated here okay we are ready to do our mission work but we can't do our mission work if you don't don't come forward to me okay and she's also saying surrender your addictions so you're addicted to control being in control which is interesting again mirroring energy because even the masculine in his reading he told the feminine that the feminine is it is is <laughs> is addicted to being in control and thinking that she knows everything <laughs> and the feminine is also telling the masculine well you're also addicted to being in control and thinking that you don't need anyone to help you but the feminine is saying i want to help you and you need my help actually okay the phase we're starting you need my help and that's the message from your feminine energy okay she's ready she's the magician she's ready to help you do i have anything else to add nope so this was such an interesting reading it's a response direct response to the masculine's reading so make sure you go and watch that recording because the messages here are just it's a conversation between the two of them but overall the message from your feminine energy is masculine we are ready to do this we are ready to start our mission work stop waiting for things to be perfect i want you the way you are i will love you the way you are and then we will grow together okay we will grow as a team and yeah so i hope the messages that came through in this reading make sense if they don't just give it a few days and then come back to it at a later date you'll find that the messages start to click sometimes the mind the heart comprehends what the mind does not already know what <laughs> sometimes the heart knows what the mind does not already know so it takes some time for the mind to compute what the heart already knows okay so don't be so quick to dismiss this take a few days and then come back to the reading you'll find way new more messages in in this reading okay and be sure to check the masculine reading other than that i hope you have a good week thank you so much for stopping by and see you in my next reading bye <laughs>